My wife told me that she was worried about me today. That's what this video is about, and you need to watch this video, I promise. Hey there, my name is Carrie Buck. I've been an independent ATM business owner since 2009, and I've been an ATM business mentor since 2011. That's where I teach people just like you how to start and grow your own profitable ATM business that will uh, provide you with consistent monthly passive income and big chunks of cash in small time frames. Now, why do you want consistent passive income and big chunks of cash in small time frames? Well, it's going to be different for everybody. Uh, for some folks, they want to get out of their nine to five jobs. Actually, I think that's for the majority of folks. They finally feel like they've been working long enough and they want to start making money. They want to start putting their, their money to work instead of them always working for it, right? Um, and then there's folks that want to supplement their retirement or this is their retirement. Then you got the folks that uh, are tired of putting out hundreds of thousands of dollars for a decent ROI and want to you know, put out less capital for a decent ROI. And you have the people that want to um, create a legacy for their family. They want generational wealth for their kids, grandkids, great grandkids, right? And then you have people that they want passive income and big chunks of cash in small time frames for a reason that I didn't even mention because it's a reason that's personal to them, right? Um, and then you'll have people uh, that are maybe feeling what I'm going to describe to you today, and that's why they want passive income and big chunks of cash in small time frames, right? But here's the thing. If you want me to help you start and grow your own profitable ATM business that will provide you that consistent monthly passive income and those big chunks of cash, then I invite you to go to atmtrainingvideo.com. Better yet, click that link in the description and, um, you know, book a call with my team and we'll figure out if we're fit to work together, okay? Uh, before we get into this, do me a favor. Give me some thumbs ups for this video. Give me some thumbs ups throughout this video, okay? Click that little ATM right there, or it might be there. I don't really know what corner it's on, but click that little ATM, subscribe to this channel, hit that bell notification, select always, so every time I post a video, you're first to know about it. All right, so my wife is worried about me. She thinks I'm depressed. I might be. I might be. I'm not even going to lie, right? I mean, we've, we've had two deaths, you know, in, in the past two months, right? A, a friend of ours died in October. And uh, he's 48. That's how old I am. He was 48. That's how old I am. Um, my grandma died th earlier this month unexpectedly. All right, it was my last grandma. Uh, I was really close with my grandma. You know, so obviously it would make sense if I'm grieving and I'm depressed. That that would make sense, right? Um, I think we could all agree, agree on, on that, you know. But um, I've been in a funk this entire year. That's the only way I can describe it. it it's a funk. I don't know what it is. I don't know why it is. It's kind of on my fucking nerves right now. <laughs> um, but that's what it is. It's just, and that's, that's the only way I can describe it. It's just been a funk. I haven't been motivated or, I, I don't know. I don't even know what it is, right? I, I kind of feel like, I feel like I'm going through a midlife crisis, even though I don't know what one of those feels like, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I, I don't, I'm not going out to buy a fancy sports car because I'm, I'm not that kind of person. You already know that about me. I, I do not feel a need, you know, to buy a vet. I do not feel a need to, to go out and, buy, and, and get this young, you know, young model, you know, chick. You know, I love my wife dearly. My, my wife is my world and, you know, I'm still madly in love with her, right? So I don't, I, you know, I'm not feeling... That part of midlife crisis that I that I hear that you hear a lot that guys go through, you know what I mean? They get like a vet and then they go try to find this, you know, really young model or something, you know, that's probably way out of their league, but you know, they see money or whatever. Anyways, that's that's rude. Anyways, I shouldn't. I digress. Sorry. Um, <laughs> but anyways, I feel like I, I might be going through what I feel might be is a, a midlife crisis, but who knows what it is. It's just this funk I've been going through. Okay. And, um, you know, I, I, I gotta get out of it. Right. It's kind of annoying. It's, it's, it's wasted the year. And I'm not saying my year was a waste. Like, here's the thing. I, I'm doing this video for two reasons. Number one, I know that when you watch it, you, you watch YouTube videos, you see ads. I know when you're on Instagram and Facebook and, and, and all these places and you get emails and you, and you get these ads and you just get inundated with all these people telling you how amazing their fucking lives are and that your life is not amazing because you're not doing what they're doing, 
I get it. I know you see that, right? And they make you feel like nothing is wrong with their life. Everything is perfect and you suck because you're not doing what they're doing, right? And you feel shitty because you're not doing what they're doing, right? I know you see that stuff, right? I feel like I'm pretty good at portraying or, or conveying that, you know, in my life when things are crappy. I, I kind of let you know, right? Um, I think that anyway, along with letting you know the, the amazing stuff in my life. But I just wanted to make this video today because, you know, I don't know, just I, I felt the need to. And I felt the need to, to let you know that, hey, I have a perfect, I really do feel like my life is perfect, right? Excuse me. I live in a beautiful beach town. We have amazing, amazing neighbors and friends. Um, I play pickleball, I bike, I swim, uh, I volunteer more than I actually work, right? Um, I do all that, like, life is good, right? And, and here's the thing, life is good. And Kathy and I busted our asses for 10 years to get to uh, this place that we're in. You know what I'm saying? 10 years, you know, it was a lot of arguing. It was a lot of tears. It was a lot of um, fighting. Well, I guess that's the same as arguing, right? Uh, a lot of stress. Um, and then a lot of love and commitment and communication and teamwork all rolled into one to get us to where we are today, right? So we're exactly where we want to be in life. You know, life, life is great. But even when you have this perfect life, right, and everything's the way it's supposed to be, sometimes shit ain't right. It's up here, right? You know, it doesn't mean we're crazy or anything like that. Just shit happens, you know, and I can't even explain the shit, right? And I'm sure sometimes you feel that way where you can't even explain the shit and you don't feel like doing anything, right? Um, you don't feel like doing anything you're supposed to do. But, you know, if you got a job, you got to go to the job. You might feel like shit and you might be like, you know, if you're normally like 90% there at the job, you're probably like 5%. But you still go because you got to show up. Because if you don't, you get fired. You don't get a paycheck, right? Um, so that's why I wanted to make this video. To let you know, hey, yeah, my life is pretty damn awesome. It really is. But even though you have can have an awesome life, shit can still happen, right? You still can be in one of these funks. You can get into a funk, like whatever it is, right? You know, and... I don't know, you know, I thought I needed to adjust my goals and all this shit. I, I don't even know. I don't even know. Maybe I, I don't know. But it's just a funk. That's what, that's what I'm going to call it. It's a funk. I'm going to figure my way out, you know. Um, but that's one reason I, I, I wanted to make this video was to let you know, hey, real talk here, real life. I'm going through something. I don't know why. I don't know. I'm not asking for advice. I'm not asking for feedback. You know, I'm one of these people. I love to talk to therapists. Right. If I if I need one, clearly I'll probably talk to one now. My wife is making me. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, she's she's a good egg. But I love I love therapists. Right. And I encourage any of you, if you ever have any kind of funk or issues, depression, grief, addiction, um, anything like the whole realm of things, um, uh, stress, anxiety, PTSD, anything, anything you have an issue with, I encourage you to find a therapist in your area and talk to them. I'm a huge fan, huge, 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 huge fan. Um, if anything, like it helps for you to talk to somebody that's not a family member, that's not a friend, that's not your wife, you know, your spouse, you know what I'm saying? Um, anyway, so I'll get to the bottom of my funk for sure. So that was the first reason I wanted to make the video. The second reason is the reason I haven't probably gotten out of this funk before now is because of our ATM business, quite frankly, right? And it's because our ATM business allows me to be lazy. It allows me to be in a funk. It allows me to not do anything really with my training business, right? It allows me to do those things because the ATM business takes care of business. It takes care of business. Right? Whether I'm feeling shitty or not, people still use our ATM machines. You know what I mean? And that passive income still comes in. When I'm uh, if I'm in a funk or not. You know, and that's why all the other reasons about being in the ATM business are, are really, really awesome. Right? And the reason I got into the ATM business was freedom. Like I want freedom. Freedom, I don't want, I want the freedom to make the kind of money I want to make. I want the freedom to do what I want to do, when I want to do it, where I want to do it, how I want to do it, right? 
Um, freedom, 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 freedom. Time freedom was the big one for me. But when you need time freedom to deal with stuff that's up here or hurting here or, or, or you, you, you get what I'm saying, right? You can't really do that with a job. You can't do that when you're working with somebody else, working for somebody else. You can, however, do that when you're, you have an ATM business and you're making enough passive income that you can pretty much tell the world to screw off because you got to take care of yourself. Do you know what I mean? That's why I'm making this video, right? It, this is, this, having an ATM business and, or, or, or just having passive income, right, that exceeds your expenses is so important to your mental health and your probably, probably your health health, right, and your heart health and just everything combined that it's the stuff that you wouldn't even think about. Right? You're not you wouldn't even think about it. Like you're not gonna sit here and think about, ooh, I'm gonna start an ATM business so when somebody really close to me dies, I get more than three days off to grief. You're not thinking about that. Right? You don't think about that. Right? That's something that happens in your life, and then you're like, shit, okay, I get three days off from work, and then you're time to go back to work, and you still feel like shit. You're still sad. You're still in the bathroom crying. You're still at your desk crying. You're still doing whatever you need to do because you haven't fully grieved because three days is not enough. Right? You know what I'm talking about. And if you don't know what I'm talking about now, I promise you, you will know what I'm talking about at some point in the future. Okay? I just, I'm just trying to get you prepared for it now. So you don't have to face that in the future. And instead, you can deal. Right? You can, you can deal. Take the time that you need. Take the time to grieve. Take the time to get out of a funk that you're in. Take your time to deal with a breakup, maybe. Uh, take the time to deal with uh, a sick parent, maybe. Like Whatever it may be. Right? When you're working for somebody else, you don't have that freedom and flexibility to do all those things. The way that you need to. The way that your mind and your heart needs you to. Does that make sense? Um, so, I mean, those are the two reasons I wanted to make this video for you guys. And I know I'm, I'm, I'm you know, this isn't the normal me, you know. Um, but I, th I, I just feel like this is an important video to make for you guys, you know. And, and uh, I, like to, I like to be real. And uh, sometimes, you know, even when... Life is perfect. You still get these old funks that come come your way, and you gotta maneuver your way out of them. You know. Um, anyway, if you got any questions, you know, feel free to post them below. I'm not a shrink. I'm not a therapist. I'm none of that kind of shit. So don't ask me that kind of stuff, right? And don't give me any advice or feedback or you know advice or shit like that. I don't. I don't. I don't need that. I'll be. I'll be okay. I promise. I'll find a therapist around here to talk to. Um, like I said, I'm a huge fan of therapists. And if you are a therapist, you're awesome. You're a rock star for probably so many people. Um, anyway, um, I got to get out of this funk. You want to know why? Because it, it feels funky, right? <laughs> it's not a good feeling. But more importantly, because of you. Like, I need to help you guys, right? And uh, let me be clear. I've been going through this funk. That's what I'm calling it for this entire year. But I've always been there for my students. I'm never not there for my students, right? So later this evening, I'll be on a coaching call with my students. And I could go, all right, so the coaching car starts at 8, right? Up until 7.59, 59 seconds, I could feel like shit. And be like, I don't even want to do this call. This sucks, blah, blah, blah. I'm in a funk, blah, 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 blah. right? As soon as I get on that call, it's, it's, I'm like another person, right? And it's not because of me. It's because of them. It's because of my students. Like they are so amazing and they're, they're so into like doing what they need to do for themselves for whatever their reason is. Right. And they ask the great questions and they, and they take massive action and they're out there making things happen and they're changing their lives little by little, little by little. Day by day, you know, and that makes me so happy. It makes me proud. It makes me smile. It makes my heart smile. You know what I'm saying? Um, so last night, actually, I was in a little bit of funk last night. So what I did is I went and I read all these surveys that my students filled out 
about me and my uh, training and coaching, you know, and, and I also went into the student only Facebook group. You know, they don't know this, but I went into the student only Facebook group and I was reading their testimonials and I was reading their things that they weren't necessarily testimonials, but they were just positive things that were going on for them, you know? And then I watched some student success stories, right? I did all that stuff. Oh my God. By the time like, I, I, I'm smiling, I'm crying, I'm happy, I'm laughing, right? It depends on like, what they were saying, right? But it made me feel amazing, like that I was able to be a small part of this journey that they're on, right? So that's why I need to get out of this funk so I can uh, impact you, you, the person that is not my student yet, okay? Because I want you to become my student. Because when you're my student, I can help you even more, right? So that's why I need to get out of this funk so I can, you know, start making more videos, start putting out more content, start doing more ads, which I've not been doing any of that stuff, really, right? It's been, eh, it's kind of, it's just been kind of like pulling teeth, honestly, to uh, make some of these videos <laughs> lately, I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but I will tell you, I did that uh, in Instagram real the other day, and that was a lot of fun. That was fun doing that, um, probably because it was new. But anyways, um, I need to get back in, in track because of you. I need to impact you. And I, I need the greatest impact that I can have for you is if you're a student of mine. Um, I can have a smaller impact just by doing these videos and making blog posts and, and you know doing stuff like that, which I need to do that too, you know. Um, but it's my hope that at some point you'll be like, you know what, Carrie, I do value my time way more than anything else. And I would like you to help me with this process to save myself a lot of time, right? And that's the the one, um, uh, what's the word, commonality that I that I saw in a lot of the stuff that I was reading with my students, like in the surveys, um, that they got the coaching or they were happy they got the coaching because of the time that it saved them, right? Which is awesome because I, I know that they're realizing their time is the most important asset that they have, right? It's not money. It's not your house. It's not anything like that. It's your time, your precious time on this planet, right? And you need to figure out ways to keep your time to yourself and have it be your time, right? To take that time back. You need to figure out ways to do that. And a lot of times the way that we do that is we pay to do that, right? Like we pay to have cleaning people so we don't have to clean our house. So that's our time right? We pay to have somebody else fix our car so we don't have to figure out how to fix our cars and that's our time we take back, right? We pay to do all these things, to have other people do all these things so we can keep our time. Now, you might think, you know, you're doing it because of something else, but it's so you can keep your time, right? And that's why people get coaches and mentors. They pay a coach and mentor to save them tons of time instead of them going out and figuring out how to do it themselves. Can you do it on your own? 100%. You absolutely can do it on your own. Yep, totally can. But if you want to really save yourself time, your most precious asset, that's when you want to get a coach or a mentor, right? Um, and again, when you're ready for that, please click that link in the description, um, fill out an application, book a call with my, my team, and we'll figure out if we're fit together. And then that, honestly, that is how I can impact you the most. most. And um, I promise you won't even know I'm in a funk if I'm trying to impact you and help you change your life, right? Because, I, again, when I'm dealing with my students, it's like I'm a different person, right? My funk doesn't exist for you guys, right? It just exists for me. Um, when I say your guys, I mean for my students because my funk does exist for you guys. If you're not my student, my funk exists for you because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not out here doing what I need to do, right? No ads, no nothing, no videos, no po daily posts. You know, yeah, I'm doing emails, but sometimes they're iffy too, right? So, yes, my phone impacts you guys, but it doesn't really affect my students, right? Because I'm, I'm always there for them, right? Um, all right, anyways, I rambled enough. If you got any questions, post them below, all right? Got any ideas for future videos, post them below. I know this was not a video about you know, the ATM business or passive income or anything like that. But in a sense, it was about the ATM business and it was about passive income. 
you know. Um, so, again, if you'd like me to help you, click the link in the description. Um, give me some thumbs up for this video, right? This I know this is kind of a downer, Debbie Downer of a video, but it's super, super important. It's an important video, okay? It's important that you heard what I said today, and hopefully you take some of that with you in your life and you figure things out and you, you can move forward. And maybe if you were at a, a funk, if you're in a funk, you've been in a funk stage, hopefully maybe something I, I said is helping you turn that corner or maybe get help. Do you know what I mean? Who knows? I hope it did. All right. Listen, any questions, post them below. Give me some thumbs ups. Click that uh, ATM in the corner, one of these corners. I don't know which corner, but click it and um, hit that bell notification. Select always so every time I post a video, you're first to know about it. All right, listen, I'll talk to you soon. It's Carrie Buck. Have a great day, and may you live happily off of passive income. Hey, Carrie Buck here. I hope you enjoyed that last video. If you got any questions or comments or even ideas for future videos, just post that below, okay? And do me a big favor. If you have not done so already, give me some thumbs up, some likes for this video, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification and select always 